Hi everyone, this is Sandeep Kanan. We all define goals in our lives and try to achieve them on a consistent basis. Achieving goals itself is a big, humongous task for most of us humans. Now, there is a question. Can you also be happy at the same time throughout the journey towards your goals and thereby achieving it? So you must be wondering, is it really possible to be happy and achieve goals throughout the journey? Well, the expert says so, yes, it is possible to achieve the goals, being happy state, in the happy state throughout the journey. And the only way to do that is developing the habit of the so-called, the art of showing up. Showing up is really the key ingredient of achieving goals at the same time being happy throughout. Now, there are a lot of research done about the possibilities of showing up and the importance of showing up. And I'm going to present you a few takeaways which can help all of us probably achieve our goals being in the happy state. So this is what James Clear, the most celebrated author behind the celebrated book, which is in the top 10 read, reading category called Atomic Habits. We all might have heard, read this book, but I just want to take an excerpt from this book where James Clear calls out the ability to show up every day, stick to the schedule and do the work, especially when you don't feel like it, is so valuable that it is literally all you need to become better 99% of the time. He also says like, you know, when you start a business, there'll be days when you don't feel like uh, showing up. When you are at uh, the gym, there'll be sets that you don't feel like finishing. When it's time to write, there'll be days that you don't feel like typing, but stepping up when it's annoying or painful or draining to do so is what really makes the difference between a professional and an amateur. Now, Woody Allen is an American film director, writer, actor, and a comedian who's uh, known for many of his awards. And uh, you know, he has been known to say a lot of times about the importance of showing up. He has said multiple times that 80% of success in life is just showing up. Now, I'm an investor and I always tend to bring out models that can be applied to investing. Now, what is the importance of showing up in the field of investing? Many people call out, there are people or investors we know who has made it big in markets, who has got 100 baggers, 1000 times returns on many stocks. And most often initial response of people, common people would be that they just turn lucky. But there is an important concept behind this. In investing especially, lucky was a show up. So you get lucky not being in the dugout, but when you actually show up in the field, and showing up in investing equals buying into the opportunity with conviction when others are not yet figured it out or others are scared to even get into that mechanism of investing. There are opportunities where people really get scared to invest in the early days. And those who do that with a lot of conviction are the ones who really gain or benefit from the showing up for that opportunity. And there are a number of examples we can take that includes people investing early in Tesla, dot-com bubbles, uh, digital technologies, cloud emerging markets, recently Bitcoin, those would have missed big gains if not invested in these opportunities or precisely not being in the field, right? So showing up or being in the field, which literally means in investing, buying into those opportunities when it presents to you. Now, how to achieve big goals following this principle, which I asked in the starting of this episode, the importance of showing up, how does it relate to being happy and achieve big goals. Ariana Huffington, we all know, who founded Thrive Global and her podcasts are pretty famous. She said, you know, the importance of showing up in a way that, you know, how to achieve big goals. She calls it out, you know, micro step month, breaking down those goals into micro steps. And here's what she said. We call them micro steps and they are the foundation of our behavior change platforms. They are small, actionable, incremental, and science-backed steps that we can take to make the immediate changes in our daily lives. So the key concept is first step is to break down into micro steps, which are actionable and can incrementally increase. There's an interesting article written by Thrive Global. It's called The Importance of Showing Up, written by Stephanie Wells. You could look up in the internet. This is analogous to what the famous book says, one small step can change your life the Kaizen way written by Robert Maurer, is a psychologist. This is a Kaizen way of way to success. This book clearly shows the art of making great and lasting change through small steady steps rooted in the 2000 year old wisdom of the Tao Te Ching, which says, right, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. 
Kaizen is the art of making great and lasting change through small study increments. Now, this is a potent guide or the book is a potent guide to easing into new habits and turning your life around. Now, let me conclude by putting these three these principles into actionable steps on how to show up and thereby being happy at the same time. The first step is follow a two minute rule by James Clear. This is the most important step. Now, James Clear has put a called out a two minute process where he says, example, working up to a goal of reading a book a month by just starting with just one page a day or working out in gym for just two minutes. Now, this is the happy state. Just we go there to start into a habit of routine and we start just a habit of reading book by reading just one page for two minutes or by just doing one push up or 10 push ups for two minutes. And clearly, we are not burdened or overwhelmed by this task of two minutes. And Clear says you gradually become identity like the type of person who works out every day or who reads a book every day. The second point is uh, what I added to this is you know, make the momentum as your catalyst. So once you start, most often we would have noticed that you know once we hit the gym and just get going in the first five minutes, momentum picks up and we have to build on that momentum. The most underrated impetus we can leverage in life is momentum. It has the power to move mountains. And precisely why, you know, once you show up, once we show up and read one page, it becomes 10 pages, it becomes a one hour reading. Once we do 10 pushups, it becomes a one hour proper build up, build out in the gym. So pretty much we have to get the momentum work in our favor once we show up, that is a continuity process. And the finally, applying the Kaizen approach, tiny small wins. So we have to break down the goals into micro steps or small tiny steps as the Thrive Global said, which are easy to maintain the consistency because consistency overrules everything else when it comes to creating any achievements or success. At the same time, appreciate and celebrate these progresses of every micro step or micro win that we have. This creates a self-fulfilling rewards effort cycle and this self-fulfilling rewards effort cycle creates identity thereby leading to a larger goal achievement at the same time being happy. So I wanted to bring this uh, series of thoughts from great authors and entrepreneurs and how I wanted to apply it and make it easy for you to take away. Think it was helpful. Thanks for staying with me.